This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. TV Live for Love TV Alright, this is Live for Love TV I'm here with Matron affectionately known as Matron to everybody in the community She came to the UK, I'm right, I think in 1956 1956, 1956 from Trinidad Yeah, yeah after yeah. being invited by Enoch Powell. Oh, the great Enoch Powell. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And when you, when you came here in 1956, what was the, the first thing you did? Oh, I went straight to the um, to, to do nursing. Oh, you went straight into nursing. Mm -hmm. That was in London? No, in um, St. Andrew's Hospital, um, um, Billingsgate mm -hmm. in Northampton. Oh, there's a Billingsgate in Northampton? Yes, the road, the oh, area. Oh, that, it was called Billingsgate. All right. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. In no time. So. Uh -huh. so, and after you did that nursing, you you were in college or in a, you were being trained to be a nurse. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long How long did the training last? Uh, for five years. Oh, five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and did you go straight into the nursing profession That's after that? That's right, yes. And what type of nursing were you doing? Mental. Oh, you were dealing with the mental patients? Yes. And that would have been of any age group? Yes. Or, um, I, um. Well, I came here, what age? I came here in 20, I think either 24 or 26 I came here. Yeah. That's how old you would be? Yeah. But that's, now you're telling everybody your age. You're not supposed to tell everybody your age. Mm -hmm, yeah. But anyway, since you have, mm -hmm. I didn't do that. So the people that you were um, mental, mental patient, yeah. were they elderly pa people at that time? Or were they every age? Were they just normal 20-year-olds, 50-year-olds? How many, most no, of the patients? No, no. Uh, they were from, I think, um, in the, some of them were in the late 20s. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. some was older. Older, okay. And okay. some of them were well-educated people. Right, right. Some of them had money. Mm -hmm. And um, a matron and all end up in there. What, one of your matrons? Um, yes. Or a matron yeah. in general. End up in, as a, as as a, a patient. Mentor, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I forget her name now, but the matron who was in charge was Matron Skeen. Right. S K E, what S K E I N? Yeah, right, matron right. Skeen. Right, right. And um, so, and I did my five years there. Right. And then I went to. um. Um, what is the name of that hospital in um in Derby? Mm -mm. I went to a hospital in Derby. How come I can't remember that name? <laughs> Don't worry about that. So tell me something, Matron. What I, what I want to know is, what year did you come into London? From nineteen fifty six. No, but you went to. Oh, but you went. Oh, I went to Northampton. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm saying is, you left. You went to Derby. You went around the countryside. Yeah, I, uh, no, I mm. was at St Andrew's Hospital. And I spent five years there. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I leave and I come and I went to what's the name of that hospital in Ealing? Mm hmm. Well, but what year would that be? Do you remember? Can you remember that? What year that might be? I came in fifty six, fifty seven, mm. fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Yeah, sixty. Mm. Yes. And then mm. when I meet him, you meet your husband, mm -hmm. your late husband. Yes. Is that who is? He? That's him. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. So you you also you met him in 1960 or somewhere around yes, about yes. 1960, and he was from Trinidad as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, was, um, I was on holiday. Uh huh. In um, in Ladbroke Grove. Oh, okay. In Bassett Road. Oh, you remember the road? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. I was there on holiday because I went with some friends and we went to leave the hospital we were on holiday mm -hmm. and I was spending it there and I got to know him there. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you were married soon after that, I take yes. it? Yes, yes. And, okay, and so 
after after you met your husband and you got married and uh, of, and you had children, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so after that, you continued to work in the nursing profession, profession, or you stopped working. I stopped working. Okay, because I know a lot of women in those times who were married actually the husband would be doing the work and they'd be bringing up the children. Was yeah. that was that your your situation? Yeah, yeah, because he didn't want me to um, go back to work. Oh, he didn't want you to go back into the work? No. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's, because well, that's that good. was the two chaps that fancy me. Hey! So, yeah. he was, so he was a jealous man? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And one two uh, Barbadians. Uh-huh, mm. uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, so he so he decided to keep you at home with the children. Yes, he does. Uh, I have a child now, and mm, mm-hmm. don't want me to work. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay. And you were happy with that? I didn't mind. It was I okay. Was I was to get up early again to go because you know you have to get up early mm. to go to do you know. So how did you find the weather when you came from Trinidad? A hot, uh, climatic no, country. No. no, but I mean Trinidad is hot. Yes. And you come here into this freezing country. How did how did you adapt to that? Well, um, it funny enough, it mm-hmm. wasn't all that cold when no. I came this September month. Right. I land here the seventeenth of September, nineteen fifty six. Right. And um, but, and then they had um, people from the um, from the. Oh God, how, how you call the place now? Um, where the um, um, and um, bring people in the country and you have to see them. The immigration people? That's right. Okay, okay. And they are the ones who come and um, receive us mm-hmm. and myself and two other girls. Mm-hmm. And um, they were older than me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, and direct us under the train mm-hmm. and tell us where to come off. Mm-hmm. Because going to Northampton, St. Andrew's Hospital, Billing Road, right. Northampton. Mm-hmm. Yes, so mm-hmm. and I got my certificate there after five years. Right, right, right. You know? But mm-hmm. you know, I must look fake, you know, wonder where I have it. <laughs> no, don't worry. I don't think I don't think anybody will be checking up on that for now. Are you going? You go, are you deciding to go back to work? You going back into work? No way, no. <laughs> not at my age. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, all right. Eighties, you know. Uh-huh. So, how did you find England with the, with the racial difference? No, funny at that, enough, funny when you enough, came. Funny enough, it wasn't like that until after. Mm-hmm. You know, because they they had the Irish and they well they used to treat the Irish mm. and. And they were mostly servants, mm, so they, the Irish. They treated them bad. They treated the Irish badly when you came. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. And um, that's why I, did, I wasn't against them when they start fighting and carrying on anyway. Right, but right. But the way how they were treated. Right, right. Yeah. Are you talking about when the, the IRA start to rise up? You, mm-hmm. you, you could see why. Yeah. Because the treatment was really bad. I get you, I get mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I get yeah. you. Mm. So you've seen a lot. Yeah. Of changes in the UK, in especially. The UK. That's right. Because you, you lived, you've lived all your adult, well, adult life here in the UK. That's right. Because you was young when you came when here. I so. came. Yes. Oh, okay. So you you left your mother and father. Were they both alive when you left Trinidad? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Did you get a chance to go back and see them before they passed away? My father. You did. You saw his, your father. Yes. But your mother had already passed. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yes. She. Right. Let me see. She died. I think. The same, the same year, is it her? Yes, yeah, she died the same year Rosanna was born. Mm-hmm. That's, yes. That would be 19, I know who you're talking about, that would be 1965, I think. Mm-hmm. Or is it 66? 65. So, yeah. 1965, okay. Mm-hmm. I know who you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... That's interesting. All right, so you you got to see your father again. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Is it only one time you saw him before before when you went back to to Trinidad? To Trinidad. Yes. And and you only got that one time to see him, and then after he passed away at some point. Yes, about okay. two or three years after. He must have been happy to see you come back from oh, from yes. England at yeah. that time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, he used to get in touch with used to write to me. Mm-hmm. And he used, when I left the hospital, mm-hmm. he write to know why I leave. Oh, but he was a professional man. Yes, yes. What, what did he, he do? He was a teacher. Oh, he was a teacher in Trinidad. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. But he's not a Trinidadian-born person, is Barbadian. he? Barbadian. Oh, so he's born in Barbados, mm-hmm. moved to Trinidad mm-hmm. as a teacher, mm-hmm. 
had his family there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why he was able he to. He also, he, before he come to Trinidad, mm -hmm. he went to Guyana mm -hmm. because he had a daughter. Okay. In Guyana. That's why I went to Guyana. No, oh, that's one of your sisters. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. she was older than all of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he then wrote he to you. To Trinidad and meet my mom. Okay, so he he wrote to you to find out why you left the nursing, but you have you told him it's because your husband. I didn't have a husband yet. But, when, but you said you left the nursing after you got married, or am I misunderstanding? Um, no, I left the hospital and then I meet him. Okay. It's true, Marva, a friend, I get to know him. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. It, mm -hmm. had, a, it had a barbie junk shop. Mm -hmm. It fancied me, but I didn't like him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and I'll just tell him all. <laughs> you told him off, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do. And then it had um it had a, a white um um doctor mm. um a monitor it is called them when they now training. Right. But um I seen uh, you know mm -hmm. and then I met my husband. Right, yeah. right, 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 mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Well it's true, true Marva. Mm. I get the good know. friend, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Marva introduced me. Well, although she fancy him too. Oh, she fancied him as well? Yes. So he was. He must have been a good-looking man. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I have his photograph somewhere. Uh -huh. He's been a very good-looking man. Mm -hmm. So all, all the girls were flocking after him. You could say that again. <laughs> and then all he chose is me. You got the, well, you got the, you got the big prize. <laughs> No, because you start mm. long hair, you know. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you start long and hair. So, the, so are you, are you telling me long hair won the boys over those days? You're telling me. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. But you was, just a little while ago, you were singing a song, and I, I liked it. What was, sing it again for me, let me hear it, please. Which, which one? You, had a, you were singing a song, it was about rum and those oh, things. Oh, that yeah. was a calypso. It's a calypso song. Yeah, rum and Coca-Cola, go down for it, go man Oh God, I can't remember all you. Father, mother, and daughter. Who oh goes? How oh come I can't remember? Uh, how, how you not remember those? So those are childhood songs you remember. Oh yeah. From your child to hear them. Uh, Calypso by um, mm -hmm. what his name? I forget his name. Mm. Um, it's not so, Kitchener, Lord that, Kitchener. Not, that was Lord Kitchener. It okay. Was the other one. Mm. How come I can't remember? But uh, Lord Kitchener, he. Uh, write a lot of songs, a collection, and he was in England. Yeah, so he he came on the Windrush, you know. Yeah. And there's a there's a black and white video of him somewhere uh -huh. singing as he's on the, on the boat coming off. Yes. And yes. Uh, but he went back, you know. Yes, I he know. Didn't, he, he didn't stay long. Back, yes, he didn't stay because, long. Because um, it's true him why Joyce Philip Panavich mm -hmm. they come here after him, mm -hmm. but then. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so, know, so let me ask you did, when you came to England mm -hmm. 1956, you met your husband yeah. and you got married. Did you ever at any point ha decide that you would want to go back? I don't mean later on in life, but did you have, have you ever had enough of England and said, This is as cold, I don't like the attitude, I want to go home? No, you were okay no. with the UK from then because my father was strict. Oh, so you were happy to be here, yeah, <laughs> you were happy to be here. All right. And I was surprised when mm. he allowed me to come. Mm. And um, because my godmother and my aunt and my godfather was in the house when I asked him. Mm. And then he said, what do you think I am? You mm. waiting to ask me um, if, for you to come here? He said, obviously, I will let you go because look, I leave um, Barbados and come to Trinidad. Oh, okay. So uh, he was happy and we used mm. to keep in touch. And um, when I left the hospital, St. Andrew's Hospital, he had to write to them to find out why. What's going on. But you know something you said there, mm. Matron, is that your dad was strict. But, you know, as far as I understand, most of the Caribbean parents of that generation were very strict. He was regular. Yeah. And a lot of people told me of your generation that, that they, they really couldn't 
live any life under those people at that time. Is it true? It's true. Yeah, I hear it all the time. So, yeah, and I'm mm. looking to see all the marks in the, <laughs> you know, don't, don't, don't put the man, the man, let, let the man rest in peace, man. <laughs> let the man rest in peace. No, but when I went mm. home, he yeah. apologized. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. And and my little brother, mm -hmm. he apologized as well. What he apologized? Your little brother used to be too? No. Oh. He used to tell my father lies about me and my big brother. That's why we used to get a lot of legs. Oh, so him set you up? Yes. Him set you, you up? Know, okay. me and my big brother. Oh, I see, and I see. Because we wondering why he beating us even when we sleeping and to wake us up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Blows, we getting licks. And he used to beat us with rope. With rope? Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. So. Very strict in those yes, days. Mm -hmm. You're going to have no boyfriend or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But it had one chap, um, Clyde Ashby. He liked me, but I didn't fancy him. <laughs> and, um, You're very choosy, right? Very yeah, choosy from yes, them so days. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. long hair, you know. <laughs> and, and here, because uh, my mom is mixing in. A dogla mean Indian. That's right. Yeah, in, yes. in Trinidad. That's, that's what it right. means, dogla. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, so yeah. you're, you're part coolie. You're that's part right. Indian. Yes, yes. I, I know I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to say coolie, but I know you would understand what I no, mean. No, we just call them coolie too. Oh, but you are, you are part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, anyway, because if you see my sister, mm -hmm. her hair was straight. Mm -hmm. My own was long, mm -hmm. but I went following um, the American mm -hmm. and go and had my hair cut in mm -hmm. boy. Oh, boy style. Short, yes, short yes, hair style. Because their fashion used to copy America. Right. And I went and had my hair cut. I went in the barber shop, mm -hmm. had my hair cut, my long hair, you know, and mm -hmm. her long hair. <laughs> and it was, you know, curly. Mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. curly long hair. And mm -hmm. I went following the American because the fashion was everything the Americans do, we do. We do it, yeah. And I went and had my hair cut in boy. Mm hmm. I went and sit down in the barber shop in Charlotte Street. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's when I come to England, I regret mm -hmm. um, having my hair cut mm -hmm. because it blight me hair, it never grow back. Oh, okay. And I used to have long hair all on my shoulder. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that, that, I hope that be a lesson to everybody watching this that <laughs> if you have nice long hair, leave it, let it grow. Exactly. Don't cut it. Hey, let it let it and flow. And don't follow the Americans because <laughs> the Americans are always copying. Yeah, but they used to run things in those yes, times. Yeah, yes. they're they're the fashionable people. That's even right. even to this day. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. You know, and I used to listen to the songs of Ella Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, jazz Pat singer. Domino. Jazz and, jazz and um, blues. Yeah, wonderful. M M Monroe, what is his name? Uh, Matt Monroe. Matt Monroe, yeah, Matt yes. Monroe. Yeah. And um yeah, I used to listen. Uh, you know, I must look for those records. So you was in you was a, a person really into music? Yeah. So you used to go to to, to clubs and dance halls when no. you came to the UK? No. But you never went to clubs in Trinidad, definitely not with your no, with your dad. <laughs> But was it was he a strict because he was a Christian or just strict in general? He was a teacher. Is it, but was he was he a Christian? He wasn't a practicing Christian. No, he was so, nothing like that. So it was a culture where he was strict. Yes. Your, the culture in general. Yes. Okay. And he well and he and you know is when I went home mm -hmm. the first time when I went back to take my kids to meet them. Mm -hmm. My little brother apologized oh, okay. because he the one used to tell my father lies about me mm -hmm. and my big brother. Mm -hmm. I said, we used to get like some half marks on my body. Mm -hmm. And we were wondering why we get in mm -hmm. after he apologized and mm -hmm. said, you know, he wanted um love. And that's the reason why. Well, he was trying to get closer to your father. That's right. Than the two of you would have got. That's right. I get you. I get mm. you. So a little bit of jealousy. That's right. All right. I get so that. So at least mm. he apologized when I went mm -hmm. and take my kids uh, to meet them. Right, right, right. You know? So and when, um, when I leave St. Andrew's Hospital now, my father had to write to them to find out why I leave the hospital mm. and all this. Yeah. But, I, I heard I heard you was a, a little bit of a fighter in Trinidad. Is that true? Mm -hmm. You used to fight, go, go, have fights at the end of the week and in school. Is that true? 
Because um, it had a particular girl used to always want to fight me. Okay, okay. And so the same little brother who used to fight me, mm -hmm. when he see that he come and, and fight her, so oh, okay. that's how mm. she stopped interfering mm. with okay, me. Okay, okay. Yes. And then my father um, moved me from that school and I went to high school. Mm -hmm. I, I went to, uh, what is the name of that school? Mm -hmm. A private one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come I can't remember that name? Osman. Osman, Osman High School. Okay, well, rem <laughs> well remembered, well remembered. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Matron, thanks for, thanks for giving us some of that. We're going to come back with part two mm -hmm. in a little while. We're going to let you have a little rest. Mm -hmm. Let you have some, some um, relaxation. And I hear you have a little rum somewhere around. Yes, yeah, so yes. I'm going to let you have your little rum and then we'll come back to you. Yeah, I'd have a little um, um, co um, orange come. juice or anything with it. Oh, you're going to put some rum and orange juice? Uh, just a little tip of um, rum, but a mm. little bit of, in the glass with um. And then you're going to sing that song again for me, right? The rum to song. I after you have it. all the words of it. I can't remember all of it, <laughs> but I remember rum and Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's they good. Quite a, you know, yeah. I have some records, you know. Mm -hmm. I wonder where those records are. I bet they're worth quite a few pounds now. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I have the records. Mm -hmm. Where are those records? Before I come with one or two records. Mm -hmm. Oh, you came from Trinidad with record? Yes, I oh. worked with them, but they didn't have no thing to, to play them on. Yeah, okay, all right. You know? All right. But I did. Mm -hmm. All right. People, one step more, one step more, one step more, one step more until you reach your goals. One step more. This is Listen Love TV.